Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a really cool AR app called Halo that lets you create augmented reality experiences with everyday objects. You just need a flat object that you can scan and you can turn it into an AR experience. Welcome to Tech Tips 411. I'm so glad that you stopped by to check out my resources. I'm going to show you how you download the app, how you set it up, and create a Halo and how you might want to use it in your classroom. Let's get started. This app is available in both iOS and on the Google Play Store. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download it from the store. So you're going to search Halo AR in your iOS or Google Play Store and you're going to download it. Once you've installed the application, you're going to want to give access to your camera. You're going to be able to create Halos with any object that is a flat item that you can scan, you're gonna to wanna to create your free account. This is an educational app. You're gonna go ahead and select whether or not you are a student or a teacher or other. Then you're gonna click create account. When you first open the app, it's going to be ready to scan an item. But we wanna go ahead and click create. And so we're gonna click create and it's gonna ask us to scan that item. So I'm scanning my Tech Tips 411 sticker. So for your overlay, you have a few options. You can choose from your gallery, you can add in a video URL, an image URL, a 3D model. You can take a photo, you can take a video, you can also add text that will pop up on it as well. So in this case, I've selected to copy a video from my YouTube channel and add it in. So I'm gonna copy that link and when I paste it in, you'll see that it adds this overlay on top of the sticker. I can give additional hyperlink if I want. I can choose audio only and I can choose to save it. I can also add it to a collection. So I'm gonna create a collection called Tech Tips 411. Yeah, so notice I added that video link in there. I could have also added a hyperlink and add it to your collection. You can organize your collection so you can have it by content areas or have it by units. And so you can choose whether it's private, public, or if I want to be able to share it. You can go back home and you can see all the collections that you've created and any halos that you might want to share. Welcome to Tech Tips 411. I'm so glad that you stopped by to check out my resources. If you have any questions, just click that button that says, Just Ask Jen. Thanks again. As you can see, it's very easy for you to create a halo object that you can use in any content area by creating a scavenger hunt around your classroom by having images that you can easily scan and come to life with content to engage your learners. The ideas are limitless of how you might be able to use this in your classroom setting. It's very easy to pick an object, turn it into a halo, and get students engaged. If you found this tutorial beneficial, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified of future tutorials and quick tips. Thank you so much for watching.